it is important to know about the chain of command of any organization as it not only gives you an idea about your future prospects but also reduces the unwanted hesitation and nervousness before joining a new organization i hope you must have seen the last videos of this series of technical hierarchy in different it companies in this vlog we will try to get an understanding about the technical hierarchy in ericsson ericsson is a swedish multinational company that provides networking telecommunications and other it services all around the world it is headquartered in stockholm sweden first started as a telecommunication company Presently Ericsson is a full-fledged ICT or information and communication technology company with more than 100,000 employees as per 2021 statistics. It is also leading the world with the introduction of 5G technology. Let's explore the technical hierarchy in Ericsson. As a traditional company with a long history, the hierarchy of Ericsson is a little complex. Unlike other IT companies, they don't follow any particular band system to the positions or designations. It is said Ericsson follows a staging system, but that is also not clear to outsiders. As Ericsson deals both with communication and IT, it is hard to draw the exact chain of command. Based on the feedback of most of the past employees we can assume the designation structure based on the state system that begins with stage 4 that is GET or AET where GET and AET refers to graduate engineer trainee and assistant engineer trainee respectively It is a entry level technical position in Ericsson. When you finish your graduation and join the company, you will be positioned in this stage. Here you will be completely trained in the workings of the organization. After around 6 to 18 months based on your performance, you will be promoted to the next stage that is stage 5 or assistant engineer. As an assistant engineer you will work under the engineer and will help him in the development consultation and maintenance of IT projects. This is a stage where you can explore different challenges and learn from them. Once you get enough experience of say around 2 to 3 years you will be promoted to the next stage that is stage 6 or an engineer. the responsibilities increase from this stage you need to finish the assignments allotted to you and also suggest or convey your innovative ideas to the superiors you are no more a subordinate you will be given mini task or assignments on the whole project sometimes you will be the one who is in full charge of the project if it's a small one the next step in the ladder is stage 7 or a senior engineer or sometimes a team lead there is no difference in the role or responsibilities between the previous position and this one the only thing is you will be more experienced and assigned as a leader of a set of engineers you are responsible to maintain good cooperation between the team As a senior engineer or specialist you should be able to guide the team members in the case of challenges. The next stage in the hierarchy structure is stage 8 that includes project manager or senior specialist. A project manager is a person who communicates with the client and plans the projects according to their needs. He or she will have technical expertise However, the focus shifts more towards the managerial aspect. They act as a bridge between the business or administration and the technical team to ensure whether the rules and regulations of the company are followed in the projects. The technical positions end here. After stage 8, the hierarchy in the Ericsson mostly covers the managerial and business aspects than the technical side. the hierarchy after stage 8 goes like this 
senior manager, associate or assistant director, director, vice president, CEO or president and chairman. Please note that the state system explained here is just an assumption based on the best of our knowledge and understanding as there is no clear information about the stages and hierarchy level in the Ericsson. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining Ericsson in a short while then all the best wishes. Thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos in the series.